Hello everyone. Today we are going to see how to bake these triple chocolate fudge brownies. To make these brownies, let's start off by melting some chocolate in this microwave safe bowl. I have taken some butter and some chocolate chips. These are semi sweet chocolate chips. Along with this butter and chocolate chips, I am adding 1 teaspoon of uh, instant coffee powder. Today I have used Nescafe coffee powder. Melt this in the microwave for 1 minute. If you don't want to use the microwave, you can always add all these ingredients in a saucepan and melt it on the stove top also. Melt it and then mix it together till it forms a homogeneous mixture. If it's not melted properly then reheat it again and then melt it. Along with this chocolate mixture we are going to add white sugar and brown sugar. The ingredient list is given in the description box. You can check that out. Mix all these together. It will form a grainy thick mixture. Uh, keep this aside uh, till it cools down completely. While this mixture is cooling down, we can get our baking tin ready. Today I am using an 8 by 8 inches uh, square baking tin. Uh, put a parchment paper or a butter paper on this baking tin and then spread some butter or oil all over this baking tin so that uh, the brownie will come out easily without sticking to the pan. After this, preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes. Now this chocolate mixture has cooled down so now we'll start adding the other ingredients. First I'm adding the eggs. Today for this recipe we need three eggs. Make sure the eggs are at room temperature. Add one egg at a time and beat it well. Make sure the chocolate mixture has also cooled down completely otherwise there is a chance for the eggs to scramble. So wait until the chocolate mixture cools down and then start adding the eggs. Once the eggs are done, take a spatula and mix it well. Make sure the uh, mixture is smooth and lump free. Now we'll start adding our dry ingredients. First I'm adding the all-purpose flour or the maida. Along with that I'm adding 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder and a little bit of salt. Mix all this together with a spatula. Mix it gently and mix until it forms a smooth lump free batter. Next I am adding another uh, cup of chocolate chips. This is also semi sweet chocolate chip. Coat these chocolate chips with some uh, all purpose flour so that the chocolate chips won't sink to the bottom of the pan when the brownie is baking. Mix it well along with the brownie batter. Next I am adding some vanilla essence. I forgot to add this while beating the eggs. You can add the vanilla while beating the eggs itself. Add the vanilla and mix it along with the mixture. Now our brownie batter is ready. We will transfer this batter to our prepared baking tin. Transfer the entire brownie batter into the prepared tin and use a spatula to spread the batter into all corners of the baking tray. And then tap the tray on the countertop a few times to remove any air pockets and uh, bake this uh, brownie in the preheated oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. You can check it out by putting a skewer inside the brownie to see if it's done. My brownie was done in 25 minutes. Remove the brownie from the tin after about 2 hours of cooling it. Once you remove the brownie from the pan it's very easy to remove the butter paper also. And then take a sharp serrated knife and start cutting your brownie. So, that is it our fudgy brownie is all ready. This is my most favorite brownie recipe. I bake a lot of brownie but this brownie is my absolute favorite because it's so fudgy and so chocolatey. It's really nice to eat this. If you bake these brownies you will never buy another brownie from the store again. These brownies are very thick because we have used an 8 inch pan to bake these brownies. If you don't want your brownie to be so thick, you can also use a 9 inch baking tin that will give you a thinner uh, brownie. So do try it out. These are excellent brownies, so fudgy and so chocolatey. Serve this with a scoop of vanilla ice cream and it's an absolute delight to have these brownies. I am sure you love these brownies just as much as we do. So until next time, bye bye.